still developing that food fight at Hobby Airport. It is a brand that is a household name here in Houston, Pappas, but its restaurants and partners will no longer be housed at Hobby. This after a competing company promised tens of millions more in future revenue, but tonight insiders say that financial pledge will be hard to reach. Investigator Mario Diaz is live at Hobby, and Mario, you might say this is a food fight that has taken flight. That's right, Keith. And you know, what's interesting about this is that Papa's feels that they have proven more than they're worth to the city of Houston, generating 25 million more dollars than was originally anticipated from their last contract. And at the same time, they have also helped the city land a five star rating here at Hobby. But even with all of that, a Houston favorite is potentially on the move. We're looking at getting rid of our brand, what makes Houston. Again, it, it, it just doesn't make sense. The brand is Papa's, a city of Houston favorite for decades. I love Papa Do's, I love Papa Cito's. But a recent razor thin decision by five city of Houston employees removes Papa's out of hobby in favor of a company called Arius, based out of Miami with ownership ties to Spain. Yeah, I believe people like the local brand, uh, even even the flyers who fly in from from other places. This is something that Elaine Gilroy has seen during her years at Hobby with Pappas. When you hear or talk to the guest, you hear we're iconic. Gilroy says she and other employees are concerned about what the future may hold. Pappas is a family-based restaurant, so we want to make sure that we're with a company that we know. So what is potentially replacing Pappas and their partners at Hobby? National chain brands with some regional options. One of them is through Good Coffee, touted by Mayor Turner's office last week. But they closed their doors last September with no other shops in Houston listed. And even though there was a member from his office listed in the awarding process, Mayor Turner makes it clear there were no playing favorites. I do like you. But if I, but if the administration made a decision based on what, who we like, we would be vilified for going against the procurement process and the results. So you One of the big reveals, council members, as well as those involved in the bid process tell me is that they hope that all of the individual scores by all of the judges are released sometime in the near future. Now keep in mind, this once again goes before city council on Wednesday and it could once again be tagged. It's the very latest from Hobby tonight. I'm Mario Diaz reporting live for KPRC2 Investigates.